Hello, this is Kayla with Flawless by Kay. I am a lash tech based in Florida. I have been lashing for over a year now and I thought I would start a YouTube channel to make you guys um, some videos for really beginners because I remember when I was first starting out, I wanted to do extra research before I had actually even gotten my certification. So I started looking into lashes and it was very hard to find information that was helpful for beginners, um, really getting prepared for having appointments and taking clients. So I wanted to make a video for you guys today. This is going to be Amazon finds for beginner lash techs. Um, a couple of things are going to be from different places, but most things are going to be from Amazon. So I am going to jump right in. This is going to be ranked from most important and most necessary to actually start having clients. So I'm going to be sharing some things off the bat that you should have as a lash tech. It's going to make your life a lot easier. It's going to really get um, just things in order for you. So first thing is going to be a massage table or a recliner. Some people prefer a recliner or some people prefer a massage table. I personally prefer a massage table so my clients can lay flat and I can have their head right at my chest level. Um, I feel like that is what kind of level you should have your clientele at. So I will be sharing little screenshots in the corner right here of exactly these Amazon finds. Now, two things I really want to point out when picking a recliner, you can choose really any recliner off of Amazon. Um, first tip is going to be, I don't think a massage table is something that you necessarily need to spend a lot of money on when you're first starting. You can always buy a mattress topper, which is going to make it a lot more comfortable. It's going to be further down on my list, so I'll hold off on that. First thing to look out for with buying a recliner is going to be making sure that you have enough leg room underneath because when you look on Amazon, you see a lot of recliners that have this big piece of wood at the bottom and it makes it like you can't put your legs through the wire and through where it pops out. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll just like post a little picture right here of what I'm talking about to avoid. And then um, I will post the one right now that I prefer that gives you the leg room that I'm talking about. And then the second thing you want to look out for is if you are planning to be a portable lash tech, a travel lash tech, or if you just want to stay in one spot, um, definitely get yourself a portable massage table if that's something that you're interested in doing. When I was a beginner lash tech, that is actually what I offered first because I didn't even have a massage table. Um, I was going to people's houses and doing it with them laying on their bed and I would literally sit at the end of the bed or get a chair to like sit at the end of the bed and I don't recommend that at all. Don't do that. Honestly, don't even really recommend traveling that much as a lash tech just because there's so much stuff. So sorry if this list is extensive, but yes, first thing, number one, massage table. This kind of pairs with this. I did not have a, a mattress topper on my uh, massage table for the first year. <laughs> sorry to all of my clients for the first year, but I did not have a a topper for my bed so you can rate that as necessary if you want to I honestly think it is something necessary now that I have it I never have any complaint any complaints from my clients about their back um, and before when I didn't have that I had complaints all the time from my clients being um, just very uncomfortable so I definitely really recommend one it's $40 off of Amazon I believe it's $40 off of Amazon and um, it's just the small topper. You can get the more expensive ones if you want. They have one that is Tempur-Pedic, but this is just a beginner's list just for just wanting to get started with the most professional setup and the most comfortable setup for your client. There are fitted sheets that come with that, so um, I just have this one right here. It fits all the way down to the bottom and I just, it has like this little rubber area on the corner, so on the back two corner where their feet are, 
I fit that fitting sheet on the legs and then for where my feet go through, I don't fit that on those corners, if that makes sense. So I don't fit the sheet on all four corners. I just fit the sheet on the, the bottom two corners where my client's feet are. I also lay a blanket down if you want to rate all of this as necessary or not necessary. I think it is for a professional setup. You can also get a, um, a clear tablecloth and just put that on there so it's really easy to spray and wipe down and sanitize between clients. Okay, third on my list, getting yourself a chair. You want a very comfortable chair for you to lash in. You're gonna be doing this all day long. If not all day long, you're definitely gonna be sitting there for hours, so you really wanna make sure that you are comfortable. So I definitely, prefer a really good lash chair. I got mine that I really, really love from Ross. I got it for like $60. Um, you can get some off of Amazon. Um, I have a couple off of Amazon that I've gotten that are not that great. Um, the one that I currently have right now is one from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I don't really care for it. You want to preferably get something that um, heightens or lowers. So on the bottom of your chair, you want to have that little tab to really be able to heighten your chair and adjust yourself or bring you lower depending on how high or how low your client sits according to your chest level. And then um, a pillow, I'll go ahead and rate that on how necessary you find that. But um, I got this pillow from Amazon. I'll show you right here. It comes with a little a two piece for it with just the lower part of your back and then a little butt seat for you. So your butt is more comfortable. You don't get numb in certain places like my skinny ass. Helps with your posture as well. Um, your back is gonna be killing you. Just letting you know now, beginner lash text, your back is going to be terrible. So definitely find a chiropractor in your area and really take care of your posture. Next thing on the list is a lash cart for organization. I think this is really, really important because the next few things that I'm going to go over for necessities, for lashing, a lot of the time we think of necessities as tape, iPads, the lashes, the glue, tweezers, just basic things like that. Yes, those are obviously necessary, but the setup is extremely important. So all of these little things I'm telling you to get, like the iPads, all those things I just listed off, that is going to have to have a place. So having a lash cart for organization is really, really going to help you. And then along with that, also getting something else to organize within that lash cart. So you can get little trays from Amazon that are about this big. I'll post a picture right here. Um, and then you can also get some lash organizers. Um, they have some on Amazon, but the best ones you're going to find is going to be on elonbeauty.com. Um, I will link all of this stuff down below, obviously, but um, I love their organizers and you guys are going to be obsessed with their site when you go on there and you look on the lash supplies, lash accessories. There's so many cute things that you can get on there. I just personally don't recommend their glue or their primers but I love their lashes. I love everything else that they have. So definitely check out them. Um, I got, I actually have this lash organizer from Elon Beauty. This is the one that I use and you can see how I have it set up. Um, I will basically go over all of this in a second when I show you guys exactly what to order and why these things are necessary. So this is gonna be further down the list but here is the organizer that I use it's so cute it has different lash tiles and little places with covers and stuff so really really cute definitely recommend it oh and it also has a tape dispenser right here so you can put tape in here but it doesn't work that great so I kind of just throw the tape in there <laughs> so and, okay the next thing that is so so important so important like is a lash tile. This is a lash tile. This is a lash tile. I emphasize this because I see people that put strip lashes on their client's forehead. If you are one of those people, 
you are going to make me snap. I'm letting you know. <laughs> In all seriousness though, please do not, just don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Get yourself a lash tile. It's really easy. It's really, really convenient. Um, one thing that I should probably mention before this is when you have your bed and your clients are laying on it, you want to get a lash pillow that has a tray. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys mine. So this is the lash pillow that I have. They obviously put their head right here. And then I have this little area right here that is a hard surface and I have just a little space right here it has like holes for my tweezers where I can put them and then it also has just places okay and I use this to put my lash tile right here right next to their head okay just right next to their head it's so much more professional it's so much more sanitary and you're not making your clients feel uncomfortable with strip lashes and glue on their forehead. So please, once again, please get a lash tile. Actually, you can find lash tiles on online or um, I'm sure you can find some like 50 cent ones off of Amazon, but you can definitely find some lash tiles at like your local Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that really. Um, for like 20 cents so definitely definitely look for that if you're on a budget um, once again you can find lash tiles off of Elon Beauty I almost said Elon Musk that was weird <laughs> you can definitely find lash tiles off of Elon Beauty this is one that I really like this came with the organizer actually so you know might as well um, I bought this one separately, but this is a protected lash tile. So this is the this is for um, so your lashes don't get dusty or they don't sit out. So I really really love this because I in the beginning I always left my lashes out. I would notice that they would get dusty and I would have to throw them away or just use dusty ass lashes. Like no, no one wants that. No one wants dusty ass lashes. Okay. Get yourself a protected lash tile or get yourself this really cute nifty organizer and you can have lash tiles that come with it with a placeholder that you can put it in there and they don't get dusty that way so lash tiles like they're great use that instead of your client's forehead okay it's the last time i'm going to mention it but if you're a lash artist and you lash oh this is another thing if you lash not only from your client's forehead but also from your hand i will say that i'm guilty of that because i didn't think that it was a big deal i didn't i wasn't really aware that it was like unsanitary because oh i'm cleaning my hands and my hands are clean so when i put the strips on the back of my hand it just helps me have everything closer together okay no you're not making yourself you're not making anything any easier for you in fact it actually doesn't help you because you can't isolate and make a fan at the same time i can make a fan and isolate at the same time or grab a classic lash and that at the same time okay so it's unsanitary it's unprofessional i could go on and on about how it's that's for a different video okay don't lash from your client's forehead or your hand please just get yourself a lash tile 50 cents, 20 cents. Okay, just do it. All right. Something that is really, really important talking about sanitary um, cleanliness, you want to get yourself a barbicide tray and then some barbicides. So um, you can go ahead and buy a barbicide off of Amazon. You can get the tray off of Amazon. It's just a little holding tray. I clean my tweezers with the barbicide and any other tools like that really can't think of any other than tweezers right now that get cleaned with barbicide everything else is like disposable but yes definitely get barbicide and then you just dilute that in water um 50 50 ratio there if you don't have this if you're not letting those tweezers sit in the barbicide for at least 10 minutes in between clients and scrubbing that and rinsing them off and then drying them completely like you could cause pink eye you can cause so many different problems um, and cleanliness is something that's 
very, very important with a lash tech. We're dealing with people's eyes and transferring one nastiness to another is just, it's a no. So I have cotton mouth really bad. Oh, and cubby wipes are also really, really great for wiping down things. Um, cavi wipes. I always call them cubby wipes, but cavi wipes are really, really great. So I will link that as well. This Barbicide and the UV tray is really, really good for um, cleaning everything. Next thing you want to get, you're going to want to get is a ring light. This is very, very important for your setup. You definitely want to make sure that you have great lighting when you're lashing and isolating. Definitely spend good money on a ring light. I would say that this is something that you do want to invest in. I had gotten a $40 ring light off of Amazon and it did not work out for me. It broke. It constantly gave me issues. It wasn't bright enough to begin with. Um, and it just, it always gave me issues. It broke literally in between, like it broke as I was having a client and luckily I um, had some window lighting and then I was able to go to Best Buy and buy a ring light. So I personally have mine from Best Buy. If you have a Best Buy in your area, I got mine for like $150. Honestly, you can find one that is like around like $80 to $100 on Amazon that is really, really great quality. So I will link that or something similar to that right here. Um, so definitely invest in a ring light. That is going to help you out a lot, um, especially for content and other things like that. Just make sure that it has a phone holder and you're good to go. So just to mention, this isn't um, super necessary, but... For me, it really helped with creating content. So the ring light obviously comes with a stand where it stands next to you and then you can just kind of put it over your client. But I actually have a very small lash room and I have a ring light uh, wall mount that I put on the wall right next to me. So it actually is in the wall like right here and then it comes out and the ring light is just like this right above my client. It's really, really convenient. And then that way I can also put my phone in that phone holder where the ring light is and literally record me doing work and have no hands while recording. So that's another great way for content um, and just having really good quality to show on your social media. Yes. And then next thing that is extremely, extremely important right next to the ring light is a hydrometer. So I would even get yourself like two of them. They come in packs of two and keep them in like different places within your lash room. Um, keep one like right next to you and then keep one like maybe on the other side. Like I have one in the shelving behind me and then I have one that I keep right here on my tray next to my organizer. So it's like basically right next to my glue. Um, so this will tell you what temperature you have in your room or Celsius if you're from the UK, and then what temperature your, or what percentage your humidity is. Most glues do not go over 65% humidity. I would say get one of these first before you really decide on what glue you want, just so you can see what your room is like, and you know what that temperature is gonna be, and you know what that humidity is gonna be. That way you can get a glue that is more according to your climate, and if, um, What's next on my list, actually, I'll just talk about this at the same time, is a humidifier or a dehumidifier or most likely an AC unit or even a heater. It depends on really where you are, but I know when the weather is really bipolar in the winter, I have to have a space heater next to me so it doesn't get super cold in my room. Usually my glue doesn't go over or doesn't go under like 67 degrees. So definitely get one of these hydrometers to just make sure that you know what your average uh, percentage humidity and temperature is going to be. Now that is like the bulk of the necessary um, like big items. So the next few things are going to be like the littler, um, smaller necessities that are like the fun things. You're definitely going to want to have a handheld mirror to be able to hand it to your client so they can see what your work looks like when they are getting off the table. <sighs> lashes. Lashes. Which lashes you should get? Well, if you, are be if you are a beginner and you are trying to find something that is cheap, um, you don't really care how they look, 
um, as in like the plasticky, shiny kind of look to them. Um, something that is easy to work with. I would definitely recommend Tea Dance lashes. You can find them on Amazon. You can also the, order them online. They are ordered from China and they take a really, really long time. But I would recommend getting these off of Amazon because they do come with really like usable, easy fans. And then you can also, they're also very cheap. Um, but the cons to that is they kind of have a plastic look to them. So they really do look shiny, but they are very easy to work with when you're first starting out with making your own fans, um, easy fanning, or even just classic lashes. I love um, Elon Beauty is the lashes that I really like, um, and I have not personally tried their easy fans. I use their loose fans, so definitely make sure that you have um, a distinct difference in what lashes that you are purchasing whether they are loose trays, they won't say anything. If they are easy fans, they most likely will say easy fans. So if you're looking to get easy fans and you need easy fans, definitely make sure that the lashes you are ordering say easy fans, okay? Take a shot for every time I said easy fans. So that is the lashes that I really prefer um, myself. You can also get Live Bay lashes. I love their classic lashes. I love Elon Beauty's uh, volume lashes, their color lashes, their glitter lashes, um, their decals. Like I said, I love Elon Beauty as a whole site. The next thing on my list is going to be tweezers. You definitely want to get some really, really great quality tweezers. Now, this is something that I would recommend spending a little bit more money on um, because it's just going to save you in the long run and it's going to make getting the hang of lashing so much easier for you. So um, you can get like a little bundle of lashes off of Amazon for like, I think like 30 or $40. Um, I really wouldn't recommend it. It is, you know, if you gotta do what you gotta do. There's still tweezers they'll do with the job, but I really do recommend tweezers from Live Bay. Um, I also have promo codes, so I will leave that in the description down below if you want to place an order for Live Bay and get some of their glues. I really do love their glue. Um, if you want to get some of their tweezers, I really would recommend that. So definitely feel free to look down in the description and get yourself a little promo, di promo discount. And yeah, but I really love um, their Gold Crush tweezer is great. This is for mega fanning, it's what I use it for. I heard people use it for isolation. I don't know how, girl. Explain to me in the comments below because I don't know how. But I also use the Rainbow Baby Junior for isolation. Um, I also use their curved straight tweezer. I'll just, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. I'll put it right there. I love that for inner corner isolation. Um, and then their Magic Mic. It is also really great for classic application. Um, there's a few other ones that I can't think of right now. Straight tweezers are great. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Live Bay's tweezers. And they're $20 each. Um, and you, like I said before, you're gonna wanna spend the money on getting really good quality tweezers. So you are saving yourself the hardship getting the hang of lashing later on. Glue and remover. So this is, really hard to recommend but i would say for any beginner stacy lash glue i'm gonna say it stacy lash glue it's gonna help you girl it's gonna get it's gonna get the job done professional good quality lash glue that i really recommend is really anything from live bay and then i um, as of now i'm using white flamingos 1-800 retention or their dark drip. I use their dark drip because I am in Florida and it is a little bit warmer in my room so I use their dark drip and then I really also love their 1-800 retention. It is a clear glue so it is better for any clients that have more sensitivities and yeah so those are the glues that I really recommend and then also get yourself a remover. Um, cream remover Cream removers are a lot more gentle on the eyes than gel removers, so I would recommend that for sure. You can find some off of Elon, 
or Live Bay, I would probably recommend doing that rather than ordering anything off of Amazon. Um, go ahead and communicate in the comments down below if you do have a good um, lash remover from Amazon that you think would be good for people to use. The next thing is primer and bonder and a nano mister. A primer is really recommended for just really preparing the lashes, making sure you don't have any oils left over. Um, this also kind of goes hand in hand with lash cleanser, so you definitely want to make sure that you either get yourself a lash cleanser that is already pre-made that you can use to clean your, la your client's lashes, or get something that is a concentrate and you can make lash kits. Um, I'm going to go over that in a second. best primer I have ever used, hands down, is... Ruthie Bell's Adhesive Super Dries. It smells like strawberries, it's amazing, and it is a two-in-one. So it helps to prep the lashes and get rid of any like oil and things like that. And then it also helps to acclimate your glue, depending on the humidity or the temperature. If anything is a little off, it's gonna help acclimate your glue and dry on contact with the lash. It is amazing chef's kiss so i really really recommend this primer is before you start applying lashes so afterwards you can either use a bonder or you can use a nano mister i honestly some people prefer bonders i really just like to use a nano mister i feel like nano misters are really good because they help lower the fumes for when your client opens their eyes um so they're not really bothered by any lash fumes that could be just like drying and then a nano mister is also going to limit those lash fumes because it is helping to cure the process of of the glue so the difference between a nano mister and a bonder you can use both um, if you find yourself a good bonder go ahead and use that okay next thing that is super important is tape and ipads so i use two types of tapes i use one tape it's the small blue tape i'll list, link it right here and post it right here um, from Elon Beauty. I use that to layer the lashes because it, it does not stick to the lash hairs at all. It's really easy for it to just stick to the skin and then not to the lash hairs and so it's really easy for me to pull it off if you do any layering. And then this is the tape that I use for all of my clients for taping down um, the iPad and their lower lash line. So this is the Next Care Blue Sensitive Tape off of Amazon. Um, definitely recommend getting this in a big pack. This is hands down the tape you want to get. Every lash tag out there raves about this tape and I've tried other things and it just does not work like this does. So this is really amazing for just using iPads underneath the eye and then taping down that lower lash line so you don't glue any eyes shut. And so this is actually how I use the tape. I split it in half. Definitely love this tape. Love, love, love this tape. So this is the iPad that I really recommend. I love these ones. Um, I have not found anything that is more sticky and just really like secures down. So this is great. It's from Green Life. From Green Life. I get these off of Amazon. I get them in a huge pack and um, they also are infused with aloe vera so it definitely really helps to hydrate underneath love these these are my favorite so and then a handheld fan i have always loved this one i got it off of amazon um it's 9.99 i believe so it has this little power button on the side it has three different speeds And then it also has like a little scent thing that you can like even put a scent in but I don't because you don't want any like weird oils from your fan to be like finishing a set and fuck up your retention so I use this I love this fan um, Amazon it's very quiet actually and it works really well so this is what I prefer and then lash cleanser concentrate um, I get mine off of live bay Elon Beauty just released some concentrates, so they actually have them in scented ones, so I am definitely going to be trying that next. Um, I actually make kits myself, so this is what they look like. 
um, you can get all of these off of off all this stuff off of Amazon I do include like business cards and things like that but this is a foam pumper bottle from Amazon the sticker from Amazon these bags from Amazon these spoolies with cases are from Amazon super cute and then I also got this lash aftercare card from Amazon. I honestly sell these bundles for $20 um, just for having this. And then I, it actually does also include one of these brushes. This is a brush to help clean the lashes. Um, just like really get into that lash line. So they look like this. And you can also get these off of Amazon. I just buy a pack of them, really of all of this stuff, and I just put it together like this and sell it for $20. So it has my business cards in here. I also have my business card in the back of it. It says that if you bring a friend in, that you, can, you and the friend will both get $10 off for your next fill, and then they're full set when they come in. So, And so now the last... Um, few things that I'm just gonna show you guys are really um, just basic things that you need I'm just gonna grab this <laughs> you're definitely gonna need some sort of tape dispenser if you don't get an organizer like this um, definitely get a tape dispenser or somewhere where you can have your tape and then also get um, I recommend these flower cups they're basically like a glue ring so you see it has like little slits in it on the side and then it's got like a slit in the middle and a circle in the middle. You just put the glue on one of those sides and then you're able to fan your lashes and snatch it right in that little divot there. So um, I use those just to make sure that I am even wiping like excess glue off of the fans and just really getting that snatched base. The other things are just like very, very obvious. So this is just like what I'm going through. But the second thing that I really recommend is some dental picks. You can get this from Amazon as well. Um, it's just like a little dental pick like that. Dude, this will save you so much time with clients that come in with like lash glue on, even mascara. Um, just get one of these and really put it like right in the base of it and just try and scrape that glue off the lashes i promise you this is going to work 10 times faster than with doing like a lash bath and all that so it, this is going to really be amazing um for that they are disposable so the next thing that i really recommend it's a micro swab these come in all types of colors you can just get them off of amazon as well this is really going to help like with primers or just like anything in general like really kind of getting in those like little teeny tiny corners and kind of like grabbing the lashes like that as well so definitely recommend getting some of those and then i order like a ton of these all the time these are the lip applicators so i definitely recommend that is going to really help i apply pretty much like everything with these honestly and remove everything with these especially remove everything with these um and then also get some spoolies you can get these in any colors i get these ones off of amazon i have them in green i have them in black i have them in light pink yeah this is my list you guys <laughs> it's very long i know i'm like necessaries and then it's like a thousand dollars worth of shit so sorry but welcome to the lash life but i guarantee you, you guys are gonna be making so much more out of this it's not even a matter like the investment is worth it for sure these are all my spoolies now that i'm gonna use <laughs> I do want to mention um, with these, I usually fold a piece of tape onto my tile right there and then I'm able to just stick that on just like that and it holds perfectly, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's what I really love about these and I don't have the glue ring on my hand because the few times that I have tried to do lashes with glue rings, I've literally gotten, gotten it in people's hair. And I'm sure there's a few other people out there that can say the same, that they have gotten 
lash glue in people's hair and i'm telling you it's a nightmare this is pretty much all the things that i really recommend i'm looking over at my little notebook over here but an accessory that i really recommend is a lash shaker i just got the vortex one you can get off of amazon or i didn't get the vortex one i got this one i got off of amazon and then you can get the vortex one um, i'll also link that down below it's just a little bit more expensive the one that i have works perfectly so you might as well and then oh a, a squirt bottle for water when you are washing your client's lashes this is the last thing that i will recommend you can also get these off of amazon super easy i got this one off of lift bay i think it's a couple dollars but this is great for when you are washing your client's lashes with lash shampoo and you need to rinse stuff off you can very easily just tilt their head to one side grab a paper towel and just catch the water with the paper towel all right you guys that is it i hope this is not too boring of a video um but there are just so many things that go into lashes i'm definitely going to be making more videos for beginners and for other lash techs also some of those advanced things that you just kind of learn along the way and i'm sure you guys will too so i would love to create like a little bit of a community where we can all share some good tips with each other so definitely we'll see you guys in the comments please feel free to like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends anyone that um, that you think can definitely use some of these tips and some of this information so I will be seeing you guys later thank you for watching and I hope this helps